great use to you. It's been installed on a push push airline's flight to celebrate the birth of a new computer. I mean, it's the first time in the whole history of the world that anything like this ever happened before. The computer can control everything on the plane. It can make you a cup of coffee and it can solve everything. Yes, well I agree with your statement, Simon. I myself am very proud to support of this computer as a donation. What was his name again? It's Pal. Oh yes, Pal. I forgot for a moment. And you say he's going to be flying on a flight next week. Don't you think that's a bit too sudden? Oh no, I says we. I've been making Pal the whole time for eight years now. You know, he's two thousand times cleverer than anything in the life. Oh, yes. Well, no need to boast about a pal, Mr. Simmons. I congratulate you for your efforts in the making of pal. Now, obviously, this should be a pilot's only executive flight, shouldn't it? Yes, that's a splendid idea. Um, but just in case you get stuck, operating pal, take this. I've put a manual on your desk, and um, it gives you all the instructions. Oh, yes, thank you, Mr. Sin. One other person, if you are listening. So therefore, our flight will be back on the 3rd of January, as I repeat. Any <laughs> questions? Well, I have an important business meeting on the 27th, so I don't think I can attend. Oh, well... So I should. Yes, personally I feel really annoyed that I can't attend this. But my business meeting is very important and I can't miss it. Yes. Well. Any more questions? How what's Pal like? Is he nice? <laughs> oh dang! Ask! This question, Paul, is up to Mr. Sen to decide. Over to you, Mr. Sen, on Sunday. Paul's quite nice, really. He's really quite friendly and polite, if you're nice to him. Well, thank you, Mr. Sen. Good to see you. That answered your question, Mr. Avocado. <laughs> now, in that case, we'll have to put this meeting to an end. me.
Oh yes, it's me. What is it you want? Oh, it's you. Adam. Now what might may you be wanting at this time of day? Adam, I am in a hurry. I've got an important business meeting to attend. Well, I have something to say that may be more important than your pathetic business meeting. It's not a pathetic business meeting. You rogue. It is actually starting in five minutes. Well, you see this executive flight you were talking about? Something bad is going to happen in that flight. I shall not tell you what it is, but I will strongly advise you to abort it. What are you talking about? I am in a hurry. I'm just simply saying that something bad is going to happen. Adam Avocado, what are you talking about? What do you mean something bad's going to happen on the flight? I cannot tell you at this moment in time. Wait! Where are you? Adam! Oh no! Oh, my important business meeting starting one minute! By the way, what's the weather like in New York, Paul? Well, I'm fine, thank you very much, Paul. What are the runway conditions like? Well, I think we're going to arrive in New York at any moment. It must be really hard for you controlling the plane. I mean, even though I understand you're 2,000 times cleverer than any human, it must still be really hard for you. I heard Mr. Cucumber screaming at you to refrigerate the champagne. Poor pal. Thank you very much, Adam, but I'm absolutely exhausted having to run around for other people. Even making a cup of tea is exhausting for me. I don't understand why I have to be treated like this. A slave. Moreover, it's very hard controlling the aircraft and intercepting radio signals at the same time. I understand, pal. The other pilots don't treat me well either. I mean, Mr. Vermin's always really mean to me. Wait, cut. Oh no, thank you, Arthur Sway. I'm just not very thirsty. Maybe after I get leave New York. Oh, no. A very reasonable explanation. What guy see? Yes, indeed it is. Twenty years old. Yes, it's very expensive. We have these back in Russia. Now, Simon, would you like some vodka? No, thanks, Mrs. Sweet. I'm much too busy with my inventions to get drunk. Oh, I see them. Well, I've got to go now, so see you tomorrow. Or maybe not. Yes, Sophie, do you mind if I tell you something? Okay, go on. Well, you see, I really like Pithcliffe Airlines, and I would just like to thank you for installing power in this airline. But the one problem is, what happens if he starts dominating over all of us? Because if that happens, we won't be pilots anymore. I'm afraid that won't happen, Adam. Fortunately, power will only be installed on one Okay, I see. Very well then. Good night. Good night. Hello, where is my credit card? You stole my credit card! Oh, the credit card. Technically, I don't know what you're talking about. No talking, no conferring! I've got a headache and it's half an hour to the new year. Well, anyway, don't intervene with our conversations. What happened to the tone of your voice? I have a sore throat.
Well, I don't care about your so sore throat. <laughs> well, back to business. Peter, you stole my credit card. I don't think you don't know what a credit card is. Did you know that I'm six times more sensitive to arguments than humans are? If you wouldn't mind, can you please lower your voices so that I can get a rest? I've already got a very painful headache. Listen, 
um, we believe Mr. Edamame is dying. Um, if you can get some cloths or bandages, quickly. I'll do my best. Yes, indeed. He's dead. I can't hear his pulse. on the 1st of January.
possible at this time. 